The battleship Yamato was among the largest and most powerful battleships of all time. Yamato has reached nearly mythical status, a perfect example of Japan's fascination with doomed, feudal heroics. Built in 1937 at the Kerr Naval Arsenal near Hiroshima, it was constructed in secrecy to avoid alarming the United States. All of this firepower was meant to sink enemy battleships, more than one at a time if necessary. The extremely large number of anti-aircraft guns, added during a refit, were meant to keep the ship afloat in the face of American air power until it could close within striking range of enemy ships. The invasion of Okinawa began on April 1, 1945. In response, the Japanese Navy activated Operation Ten Go. Yamato, escorted by the cruiser Yahagi commanded by the famous Tamechi Hara and eight destroyers, would sail to Okinawa and disrupt the Allied invasion force. Yamato would then beach, becoming coastal artillery. It was a humiliating end for a battleship capable of 27 knots, but the lack of fuel and other military resources made for truly desperate times. Yamato and its task force, designated the Surface Special Attack Force, departed Tokuyama, Japan on April 6, proceeding due south to transit the Bungo Strait. American forces had already been alerted to the Tengo operation, thanks to cracked Japanese military codes, and two American submarines were waiting to intercept the flotilla. Yamato and its escorts were duly observed by the submarines, but the subs were unable attack due to the task force's high rate of speed and zigzagging tactics. The sighting report was pushed up the chain of command. Allied naval forces in and around Okinawa were the obvious target, and the massive fleet braced itself accordingly. Six older battleships from the Gunfire and Covering Support Group, or Task Force 54, under Rear Admiral Morton Deo, prepared to defend the invasion force, but were pulled away in favor of an air attack. At 8 o'clock on April 7, scout planes from Admiral Mitcher's Fast Carrier Force, or Task Force 58, located Yamato, still only halfway to Okinawa. Mitcher launched a massive strike force of 280 fighters, bombers and torpedo planes, and the fight was on. For two hours, the surface special attack force was subjected to a merciless aerial bombardment. The air wings of 11 fleet carriers joined in the attack, so many planes were in the air above Yamato that the fear of mid-air collision was real. The naval aviators were in such a hurry to score the first hit on the allegedly unsinkable ship plans for a coordinated attack collapsed into a free-for-all. Yamato took two hits during this attack, two bombs and one torpedo, and air attacks claimed two escorting destroyers. A second aerial armada consisting of 100 aircraft pressed the attack. As the Yamato started to go down, U.S. naval aviators changed tactics. Noticing the ship was listing badly, one squadron changed its torpedo running depth from 10 feet, where it would collide with the main armor belt, to 20 feet, where it would detonate against the exposed lower hull. Aboard Yamato, the listing eventually grew to more than 20 degrees, and the captain made the difficult decision to flood the starboard outer engine room, drowning 300 men at their stations, in an attempt to trim out the ship. Yamato had taken ten torpedo and seven bomb hits, and was hurting badly. Despite counterflooding, the ship continued to list, and once it reached 35 degrees the order was given to abandon ship. The captain and many of the bridge crew tied themselves to their stations and went down with their ship, while the rest attempted to escape. When it was all over, the surface special attack force had been almost completely destroyed. Yamato, the cruiser Yahagi and three destroyers were sunk. Several other escorts had been seriously damaged. Gone with the great battleship were 2,498 of its 2,700-person crew.